Hi, my name is Marsha Berry, and right now I'm looking at the front entrance of a penthouse, sub penthouse, one bedroom unit at 69 Lynn Williams. And as you can see, just off to the left of the entrance, we have an L shaped kitchen. And I'm just going to back up in this corner so you can get an idea of how wide this area actually is because you could easily put in an island or if you go to a store and get a, a butcher block island or a table that could easily work there. And a little bit further in off to the right of the entrance we have the bathroom and this bathroom actually has a linen, a little nook for linen closet an open linen closet, I should say. Here we have the shower. And just standing in this bathroom, I could feel how big it is because it's wider than most condominium bathrooms. And that's because we're incorporating the linen closet that they put in. So it feels good in here. To the right of the bathroom, we have washer and dryer. And just opposite the bathroom, we have the hallway closet. So I'm going to show you the kitchen area from the other side. And I'm showing you a lot of the floor because it is a concrete floor. Here is the living area. I'm going to back up to the door. And this space, this area is about 13 feet wide, which is really nice. And from the end of the kitchen, it's 15 feet long. And here we have the bedroom. And the bedroom here, we could see it's a really nice size. This bedroom is 13 by 10. We have the closet. And as they're doing in a lot of condominiums now, they're putting in a glass sliding door. And the glass sliding door actually it's good because what it does is it allows more space in the bedroom. So I'm just going to do one quick overview. From the front entrance, we have the kitchen. Our living dining area. Off to the right, we have the bedroom. And down the hall here, we have the bathroom. Once again, this is a one bedroom unit at 69 Lynn Williams.